Welcome to the Creating Clients, Matters, and Workspaces video. My name is Janelle, and I'm part of the Relativity training team. In Relativity, objects are workspace items that store information and connect to other workspace objects. This diagram represents the standard objects that make up the Relativity document review platform and displays how they are connected to one another. For this video, We'll focus on the client, the matter, and the workspace objects and how they relate to one another. The client is a company, organization, or person involved in a legal dispute. This is the first object to create because both matters and workspaces must be associated with a client when they are created. Today we have a new case starting for a new client, Sky Corporation. We will create the client and matter object and then create the workspace to hold the documents for this case. I'll jump into Relativity to get started. I'll select the User and Group Management tab and click on Clients. Here I'll click on New Client. This is the new client form. Any fields that have the orange bar are required. In the Name field, I'll enter Sky Corporation since that's the name of this client. The client number is where I'll enter the billing number for the client. 12589 is the number for Sky Corporation. The status field indicates the current status of the client. The default options are active or inactive, but you can add any status value. You can use this status to organize and display lists of clients using Relativity Views. I'll choose Active here. To save the client information, I'll click Save. After creating the client object, you can now create the matter. A matter is a case, dispute, or consulting instance brought forth by a client. I'll switch back to Relativity to set up this matter. First, I'll select the Matters tab. Then I'll click New Matter. In the Name field, I'll enter Sky Corporation versus Jackson, since that's the case we're working on. The matter number is where I'll enter a unique number that identifies the matter. Since this is the first matter we're handling for Sky Corporation, I'll enter 001. The status field indicates the matter's current status. The default options are active or inactive. I'll choose active here. Client is the matter's associated client. We had to set up our client object first so that we would be able to make this connection when creating the matter. I'll click the ellipsis button to select from all the available clients. If your client list is too large, you can click Show Filters to quickly narrow the list by any available field criteria. A client may have multiple matters at any given time. Since Relativity can host multiple clients and multiple matters, it's best to use an organization system based off of numbers and statuses to help locate specific clients and matters easily. To save the matter information, I'll click Save. Once a client and matter are created, you can build a workspace to act as a data repository for all the documents related to the matter. You can store, display, search, organize, and categorize your documents within a workspace. A workspaces framework is based off the template selected while it was being created. All new workspaces must use a template. Templates are used to customize case workflows prior to beginning document review. They contain predefined customizable options that can be used for future workspace creation. Relativity provides templates to get you started, or you can create your own. The template that you're using should include the items needed for the review. Let's get started. First, I'll select the Workspaces tab and here I'll click on New Workspace. We'll start with the workspace information. The name field is used to identify the workspace and can't exceed 50 characters. I'll enter Skycorp versus Jackson here. If we decided that we wanted to change the workspace name later, we could do that without affecting any data. Next, we have the client field, which contains the name of this workspace's client object. I'll click the ellipsis button to select Sky Corporation. By selecting Sky Corporation, we're making this workspace a child object of that client object. 
The matter field is the case or legal action associated with the workspace. I'll click the ellipsis button to select Sky Corporation versus Jackson. Next, I'll click the ellipsis button to select template for the template workspace field. We'll use the starter template for this case. The status field identifies a workspace as active or inactive. I'll choose active. The field doesn't have any impact on the workspace functionality, but it can be added to views for filtering workspaces. Inactive workspaces can still be accessed and edited. In the SQL Full Text Language field, English is selected as the default value. This field determines the correct word break characters used in the Full Text Index. You should select the primary language for the documents that will be added to the workspace, so I'll leave it as English for this case. The next section of the form is the resource information. The resource pool is a set of servers and file repositories that you can associate with the workspace. We'll select Default here. The default file repository selected specifies the path for the physical location of the files, including document natives and images associated with the workspace. I'll select this one. The values for the default cache location, database location, and download handler URL are based on the resource pool that we chose. I'll click Save. Now that we have finished setting up the workspace, I'll open it up so that we can take a look at it. If we look at the workspace details, you can see that the client is Sky Corporation and the matter is Sky Corporation versus Jackson. And the tabs that are available are based on the template that we selected. That brings us to the end of this lesson. You should now have a better understanding of what clients, matters, and workspaces are and how to create them within Relativity. If you want to learn more, visit our documentation site at help.relativity.com. Thank you for joining me.